Hi, today we're going to read a Charlie Brown book titled Good Grief, It's Mother's Day. This is based on the comics of Charles M. Schultz. Please like, share, and subscribe. Good grief, it's Mother's Day, Charlie Brown told Snoopy. You should write your mother a nice letter. Snoopy liked the idea, but he didn't know what to write. It should be a very personal letter, Charlie Brown told Snoopy, the kind that could come only from you. Snoopy pulled out his typewriter. Tap, tap, tap went the keys. Let's see what you've written, Charlie Brown said. Dear Mom, he read, just a short note to wish you a happy Mother's Day. I miss you very much. I miss your hugs, your kisses, and your... Apple pie, he said. Snoopy, I find it hard to believe that your mother baked apple pies. Snoopy thought for a moment and started over. Dear Mom, he typed, I remember when I was born. It was a dark and stormy night. Charlie Brown read the new letter and threw up his hands. Good grief, he cried. Snoopy wasn't the only one thinking of his mom. On his way back from mailing his Mother's Day letter, Snoopy saw his friend Woodstock holding a flower. Woodstock looked sad. Woodstock wanted to give his mom a flower for Mother's Day, but he couldn't find her anywhere, not even in her old nest. Snoopy didn't understand birds. Birds aren't like dogs, he thought. Dogs are very sentimental and loving. Birds are weird. Once the kids leave the nest, that's it. Off you go. Good luck. Break an egg. Snoopy led Woodstock up a tall hill in the park. They both sat down and waited and waited and waited. All of a sudden, Woodstock became excited. His mother was finally flying overhead. Whoops! That wasn't her after all. That was a soccer ball. How about that? Could it be? Nope. Wait a minute, thought Snoopy. Is that her? Woodstock threw his Mother's Day present in the air, but it wasn't his mother after all. He had thrown the flower at an airplane. <laughs> Woodstock sighed. <sighs> Mother's Day just wasn't Mother's Day until your mother flew by. Meanwhile, Sally, Lucy, and Violet were skipping rope in the park. Today is Mother's Day, Lucy announced. You should both do something nice for your moms. Mother's Day is neat, Violet said. I always get moms something real nice on Mother's Day. Like what? Sally asked. How about a card, Violet suggested. It's fun to give people cards. Sally liked that idea. On Valentine's Day, I give my mother a real nice lacy type valentine that I made at school, she said. The first day of spring, I always give my mother a flower, Lucy said. A card would be nice to give on Mother's Day, too. I know just the one. Peppermint, Patty, and Marcy were all ready at the card store. I don't have a mother, Peppermint Patty said to the clerk. So what I need is a Mother's Day card for my father, who has been a mother to me. Wah, 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 said the clerk. You don't have any cards like that, said Peppermint Patty. How about a graduation card, sir, Marcy said. Like he's graduated from being a father to being a father and a mother. I don't think so, Peppermint Patty said, and stop calling me sir. How about getting your dad a Mother's Day card, but... You write on the envelope, do not open until Father's Day, Marcy suggested. Peppermint Patty shook her head and said, I think I'll just go home and give him a big hug. Good thinking, sir, Marcy said. This will be the best Mother's Day a father can have. Back home after her trip to the card store, Lucy found her brother Linus busy working with paper, pencils, and crayons. What in the world are you doing? Lucy asked. 
I'm making a Mother's Day card, said Linus. Making one, Lucy cried. Why don't you just go out and buy one like I did? See? Linus looked at Lucy's card. Dear Mother, Linus read, I bought this card for you with my own money instead of giving you a handmade one like some cheap kid I know. Wow, said Linus, handing the card back to Lucy. These days, you seem to be able to get a card for almost any occasion. Now that Lucy had finished her Mother's Day shopping, she could relax. Listen to this, Lucy said to Linus. The newspaper says that nothing pleases a mother more on Mother's Day than receiving a long-distance call from one of her children. That's a good thought, Linus said. Linus grabbed his piggy bank and shook out a few coins. Then he burst through the front door and ran all the way down the block. Linus didn't stop until he found a phone booth. Inside, Linus dropped a coin in the slot. Then he dialed. When his mom answered the phone, he cried, Happy Mother's Day! In the meantime, Linus and Lucy's little brother, Rerun, was on his way over to Charlie Brown's house. He had heard the big kids say today was special. To Rerun, a special day meant only one thing. When he got to Charlie Brown's front door, he reached up and rang the bell. The door opened and Rerun yelled, Trick or treat! This isn't Halloween, said Charlie Brown's sister, Sally. Don't you know what day this is? Don't you have a calendar? I'm just a little kid, said Rerun. Nobody tells me anything. All right, said Sally, dropping a candy bar into Rerun's bag. Happy Halloween, but just so you know, today is Mother's Day. It is, cried Rerun. Well, how many days until Christmas? Sally sighed and closed the door. The Van Pelts sure were strange at the holidays, she thought. Back at the park, everyone was getting ready to play their weekly baseball game. Peppermint Patty's team was there. So was Charlie Brown's. But just as the game was about to begin, Schroeder called for time out. I just thought of something, said Schroeder. Today is Mother's Day. We're playing baseball on Mother's Day. You're right, Lucy cried. We should be home doing nice things for our mother. My mother is always doing nice things for me, said Franklin. Every time my mother goes to the store, she brings me a surprise, Violet said. My mother always sings to me before I go to sleep, said Sally. We're cruel and heartless, everyone cried. Suddenly, all the players threw down their gloves and raced off. <laughs> when I was coaching youth baseball, that was always a no-no to schedule games on Mother's Day. <laughs> what did you give your mom for Mother's Day, Charlie Brown? Lucy asked. I was going to let her throw out the first pitch of the game, he said. Oh, said Lucy, that's very nice of you. Then Lucy glanced around at the empty baseball diamond. Too bad nobody's left to play the game, she said, <laughs> and laughed. After Lucy left, Charlie Brown sighed. <sighs> Sorry, Mom, he called to his mother, who was still sitting on the bench. Maybe next year. Then he shrugged and added, oh, and happy Mother's Day anyway. <laughs> and I hope all you moms have a happy Mother's Day. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. I love you guys. Bye-bye.